Hey guys, it's Robert. Today we are in a 2020 Subaru Impreza and we're going to talk about how to change the screen in the center of your dash over here. Now this will apply to all of the models, um, so feel free to check this video out for your vehicle as well. Now to change what we see, we are going to have to use these arrows back here behind the wheel. There are three of them, a top arrow, a middle button that says I slash set, and a down arrow. All three of them pull back. So, to change what we see in our screen, we're just going to pull either one of those arrows and it'll cycle through all of our different screens. If we press the top arrow, it will go backwards. Now, for some people, you may see PSI. Sometimes it says something different. So in order to change that, we're going to go to this screen here. It says pull and hold the set switch button to access the menu. So, we're going to press and hold the middle button. now it changes what we see. So we can see here it gives us instructions. So the arrows will be for selecting and the middle arrow is to enter. So we can go into our screen settings and we can adjust what we see. So tire pressure units, PSI for some of you, maybe in KPA. So to set it in tire pressure, go to PSI. You're gonna click the middle button right here setting complete and all you have to do is go back and now we can go through all of our settings again the last page so seven out of seven three out of three whatever it may be will always be the go back page so that brings us back to screen settings now we can go to warning volume your seat reminder eyesight reverse automatic braking if your vehicle has it vehicle settings and default settings so i'll kind of just well we don't want to do that we'll go back if we go to vehicle settings, we can change some of these features right here. You can also find some of these using your center display in the vehicle. And one more thing we'll go through. For those of you who do not like any beeping sounds or noises, you can adjust the warning volumes and it will beep at you showing you how loud it is. So we'll take a listen here. So. For those of you who don't like the beeping, you can turn that beeping down. We'll go back to go back. And that's it guys. So once again, we're just using these buttons back here on the left side of the wheel and just pull it back towards you. I hope that helps and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.